we're going to talk about the unilateral hip bridge endurance test, which is part of the ACE running movement screen. So first we're just going to watch this. So come on up with the hips. You're going to hold that for a second and then lift the right leg. Good. You're going to notice a little bit of a drop where this hip isn't staying at zero degrees extension. Come on back down. A couple other things that you might notice there in terms of an endurance ability is if the hips aren't able to control in the frontal plane. So you'll notice a little bit of a turn this way or in the sagittal plane as we saw here where the entire body drops just a little bit. But it doesn't just stop there despite it being called the unilateral hip bridge endurance test. If someone is lacking a little bit of motion, say hip extension here, then they're not going to be able to perform the same type of mechanics. So we're going to follow this up with part of our mobility section of our ACE running movement screen, looking at a time test and looking at hip extension range of motion. This is incredibly important when we start looking at runners where they may lack that terminal extension of their hip or we may see them have more of a collapsing type mechanics where their knee is buckling into valgus as they run. Uh, any of these things are possible can lead to faulty mechanics with the runner and that's why we do an entire ACE running movement screen. Uh, if you found this helpful and we hope you did please share this and we hope to see you again soon.